inflation can stretch a fixed wage even farther for consumers. But it can also imply continuous profit for investors as they build their retirement portfolio. Inflation is defined as an increase in the price of goods and services that continues over time. A gallon of milk that formerly cost $3 may now cost $4 in an inflationary climate. Inflation erodes the value of a country's currency over time. But hey, before we dig into the main topic, I want you to consider the pros and cons first before investing in inflation. There are pros and cons to each sort of investment hedging, just as there are advantages and disadvantages to each type of investment. The main advantage of investing amid inflation is that your portfolio's purchasing power is preserved. The second reason is that you want your savings to continue to increase. It can also lead to diversification, which is always a good idea. Spreading risk over a diverse group of holdings is a tried and true strategy of portfolio construction that works for both inflation fighting and asset growth strategies. The monetary authorities such as the central bank will seek to keep inflation at a level that keeps the economy functioning and stimulates growth. Inflation is crucial for national economic progress because it encourages spending. The Consumer Price Index or CPI and the Producer Price Index which is PPI are the two most commonly used measurement techniques to rank inflation. Three ways to profit from inflation. Number one, bonds. Inflation is harmful to any fixed income instrument since it causes interest rates to rise. So investing in bonds may seem paradoxical. Investors can, however, buy inflation index bonds to get around this problem. Treasury inflation protected securities or the TIPS are a popular alternative in the United States. The Consumer Price Index is used as a benchmark. A TIPS investment's value rises in tandem with the CPI. Not only the base value rise, but the amount of interest paid also climbs as the base value rises. Other types of inflation index bonds, such as those from other countries, are also available. Some mutual funds and exchange-traded funds own them as well. Consider junk bonds for a more risky investment. When inflation rises, high yield debt, as it's formally termed, tends to appreciate in value as investors seek bigger returns from this riskier than average fixed income instrument. Number 2. Stocks Stocks have a good chance of keeping up with the inflation. But not all equities are made equal when it comes to doing so. Inflationary times, for example, tend to crash high dividend paying companies, similar to fixed rate bonds. Investors should pay attention to companies in the consumer staples category that can pass on higher product costs to customers. Number 3. Real Estate Real estate is a popular investment choice not just because growing prices improve the property's resale value over time, but also because it may be used to create rental income. The amounts tenants pay in rent might rise over time, just as the value of the property does with inflation. These increases allow the owner to earn money from an investment property, while also keeping up with the general growth in prices in the economy. Direct property ownership and indirect investment in securities, such as real estate investment trust, are both examples of real estate investment, or REIT. There are no assurances in this world, traditional inflation hedges don't always work, and unusual economic events can produce fantastic results for unexpected assets while leaving what appear to be sure bets in the dust. If you like this kind of video, please leave us a thumbs up. It will really help us reach more people and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future uploads about investing, finance, and money-related content. And don't forget to say hi to the comment section for us. See you in the next one. Take care.